If you want an A paper, it helps to start with an A idea. Instead of writing about things in the way people expect, put a unique slant on your topic. Think of ways that your topic is connected to ideas in other disciplines. There's a tool to help you brainstorm that. It's called the Credo Concept Map. I'll show you how it works. This is the Credo database, and they have a little tool here called the Concept Map. We're going to click on this tab. The Concept Map helps you explore how one idea is connected with other diverse ideas. So if I wanted to know how wealth was treated across different disciplines, I can search that out in the concept map. Sometimes it takes a little bit of time to generate the map, but just wait for it. The concept map is a graphical representation of how my term is related to a lot of different ideas. And one of the first things that this can help me with is generating different ideas for my term, different synonyms for my term. For example, if I hover over this word wealth, I get a definition, and it's not the standard Webster's definition. Um, and I see that one synonym might be possessions. I might not have thought of that word, so this gives me another idea. I can use wealth or possessions. Um, I can also kind of look at the different ideas and see if there are other synonyms that I might want to look at. Um, for instance, maybe I want to use wealth or possessions or capital or income. All of those are alternative ways that I can look for my topic. And the concept map will suggest that for me. The second way that the concept map can help is that it shows how my idea are re is related to a lot of different ideas in other disciplines. For example, um, if I scroll down a little bit, it looks like a lot of the words over here are related to business. How does the business world see the idea of wealth? Well, I could click on any of these and get an article about that. Um, just kind of scroll around. Um, I could explore the idea of wealth throughout history and how different events in history shaped our view of what wealth is. How is wealth related to social class? How is it related to consumerism and consumption? Um, looking around up here at the top, I see a lot of ideas that are related to different kinds of philosophies or different types of political thought. All of these are different ways of connecting the idea of wealth to other ideas. And they might provide a unique perspective that I can write about, things that I wouldn't have thought about on my own. Now another thing I can do is if I scroll back up to the top, maybe I want to focus in on a concept map for wealth and philosophy and kind of expand that idea a little bit. And wait for this to generate. Okay, one of the first things that I notice here is that um, this concept map shows me that wealth is associated with someone named Mary Wollstonecraft. We're actually going to open up that entry. Mary Wollstonecraft was a Victorian writer. She was a feminist and she wrote a lot about how um, wealth affected women's rights, particularly with respect to owning property and position. And one of the things that she wrote was uh, something called Vindication of the Rights of Women. So if I wanted to connect the idea of wealth with a literary work, this concept map shows me a connection. I can get an idea that maybe I wouldn't have thought of just on myself, and that, that's all from this concept map here. Now some people don't really like this graphical view because it's so busy and confusing. You can do this idea another way. Instead of using the graphical concept map, just do a plain, ordinary search on this. Make sure that this search tab is highlighted, and then search it out and instead of a graphical representation, you get a list of articles by different disciplines. 
and you can explore any of those. How has wealth been treated in history, in the social sciences, in literature, even in music? Now that's a connection that I wouldn't have thought of on my own, but apparently you can see some articles about how wealth influenced uh, the development of certain types of music in different cultures. So that's how you can use Credo and the concept map to help you think of different ideas, brainstorming ideas that will hopefully help you get that A on your paper.